Oh, alright. Almost there. I think what this game does really well is it lulls you into uh, eventually just, like, kind of not giving a shit. Which is perfect, because it lets you stop caring about if you make jumps or not, which is the thing that makes it really hard most of the time, is, like, you're stuck on whether or not you're gonna screw up a jump, so you just kind of choke. With this, it's like, mm, I'm just kind of just going about my business. Oh, alright, well. I knew what I was supposed to do, I didn't execute. Made it a little further that time. Hello, I was chosen for this. Thank you for stopping by. Bundles are the best, and I have hundreds of games I've never heard of that are all terrible, and I never even installed them, but it's okay, they were cheap. Yeah, I got one that I wanted to stream, actually. Uh, I can't remember the exact title. It's something with hotel in it. It's uh, one of those third-person, like, almost pseudo-point-and-click adventures, but it's more like, you know, not a point-and-click adventure because there's a person you walk around. Uh, but it's not like an, a platform or anything, it's just, you know, kind of a slow-paced game. And that looked really bad. Oh, shit, I made it. Damn. It looked really bad for a lot of different reasons. One of them is, like, gratuitous use of really ugly CG. Uh, but I'm looking forward to maybe playing that with you guys at some point. Also, I really want to play Beyond Good and Evil again, because I haven't played that game in, like, ten years now. Is that right? Probably about ten years. And I really enjoyed it, and I really wanted to, uh, play it to the end, because the time when I played it was, like, I was way younger, and I don't think I finished the game. But I think I got through most of it, so... That and Psychonauts, I also never finished that either. Beyond Good and Evil's on PC, right? I'm pretty sure it is. I probably own it already. <laughs> it's really sad, I don't remember what game I have. These jumps are very fucking precise, as you can probably guess. There we go. I was actually over that uh, peak, and it still killed me. Was there a Beyond, Beyond Good and Evil 2 trailer or something? Uh, I don't know. There was a point where we were getting hyped about it. There was like that mocap sequence that they showed of, like, Paige running around and, like, I don't even remember the girl's name. Um, damn, I totally forgot. And it had uh, some really interesting, you know, super smooth animation and stuff. But yeah, I don't remember what happened to that. Nick, do you want a cat? I would love a cat, but I don't think I can get one for a while. I need to have a more stable living situation before that's an, a good idea. Oh, I made it over. Alright, so now I've got like one shot at this jump. And I don't want to hit that edge. Oh my god, I freaking hit left too early. Oh, I should give you guys an update on the death count, by the way. Uh, we are now three hours and two minutes into this playthrough of this game. We are at level 56 out of 100, and I'm at 1,041 deaths in total. Uh, you can see this in the menu bar at the top, which is actually cut off and not being streamed, so in case you're wondering where I'm getting that information. Kimit, do you want a cat? Am I using cat as like a verb then? Because I don't know what that means, but probably... This is a big fluffy gray cat that showed up in my yard the other day. I tried to say hi to him and he's like really antisocial and he ran away. He's probably looking for chipmunks or something. Which is, you know, respectable. He's gotta do what he's gotta do. So when I started the stream, it was an hour and a half ago and I was on level 52. So yeah gonna take some dedication. I hope I'm the guy that can handle it. And by the guy, I mean the kid. With a bow in his hair. <laughs> oh my god, Kate. <laughs> it's 
cat needs more flower power. Cats are gonna cat. Is Small Tomo here, by the way? I haven't seen Small Tomo yet, I don't think. I think it's a little late for her, to be honest, but that's okay. small Tomo with our flower <laughs> Give me cat cam. You need to get a GoPro and like put it on Ruka's head and just like have him, you know, do his cat things for the day and then we could just watch on the internet. I remember there was a time when, I don't know, it was maybe 10, 15 years ago, I remember people saying that they were like, they bought weird robots or something. It would, like, put a camera on it, and then they'd put it on a website, and then you could go watch, and then people would get to would have this at their office at work, and you could, like, take a virtual tour of their office, and everyone thought that was super cool. And that sounded like the type of thing that you could never, ever expect to have the capabilities of doing yourself. And now we're at the point where, fuck, I could probably set that up in, like, two afternoons, having bought a few parts. I would probably need somebody to, like, code the interface that allows people to interact with the robot, but... It's pretty wild how technology moves. Why can't I not get these jumps now? My god. Get over there, man. What are you doing? Yeah, and now Twitch plays Pokemon, exactly. I'm so happy that that finally died. The announcements every day that Twitch decided to finally do this today, and then we're doing this today, and then we beat this gym leader, we got this badge. Like, okay, it's fine, it's great, it's not a thing that anyone should care about. <laughs> I'm not actually as salty as I just let on, but it's just, I didn't want to see that trend catch on and become a thing everywhere, and then all of Twitch would just get taken over by basically, like, abandoned bot channels. Just, it's like a weird new form of spam. It's like, there's no content here, you're just supposed to interact with it. Oh, alright, well, that's the premise we've seen someone else do. Cool, I guess you're successful now. Yay, that's the YouTube motto. Did it work for them? It'll certainly work for me again. I guess it's the iOS model as well, and the Kickstarter model. Like a bleak future agreed. About a week ago, my girlfriend pointed out to me that Kate Tomo was indeed not actually a pug. Oh. Yeah, I guess he does kind of have those puggish colorings, doesn't he? Kate, you just keep casting flower spells on everybody. What if you turn into one of these chat members into an actual flower? You're gonna feel real bad then, and you're not gonna know how to reverse the spell. You should look into this stuff before you get too invested. You're gonna cause someone some real heartache, and their family's gonna miss them a lot, and then they'll just have a potted plant with their daughter in it. And they'll just have it by the window, in memoriam, and they'll cry every night, Kate. This is what you've done. This is the saddest story I've ever heard, by the way. This is like a, a legit movie in there, probably somewhere. Probably like some way to frame that concept that you could actually make that not super corny and bad. Oh yeah, she got turned into a flower. We miss her a lot. But she's on the, uh, the windowsill, and we get sentimental about her all the time. Hey Nick, today I'm one year closer to dying. Hey, yeah, I mean... <laughs> We're all a little closer to time, we just don't know when. Oh my god, Kate. <laughs> you guys are doing a pretty bad job of telling chat when uh, they ask about my internet. 
My internet is stable at the moment, but it's still not necessarily just better as far as I know, so it's, it's tough to say what's going on with my internet. It's working now, though, so that's good. Why did I jump? I was supposed to walk off of that. There we go, and fall- oh, I jumped too early. Kate, it's okay, you don't have to be so rough and tumble with them, they're just trying to ask questions, it's alright. I have to shoot people in my chat. I know you're real worked up about that emote though, so I understand. Oh man. This point up here is starting to get me a little annoyed. Just keeps killing me so many times for no reason. Oh, it's too far over then. Oh my god, this looks impossible. It's uh it's not impossible. I'm gonna do it, but it's not easy either. Did you see the one I just did? The room I just came from was pretty freaking crazy too. What sucks is there's so many jumps where, like, once you've committed to doing it wrong, you're just gonna die no matter what you do. Like, there's no recovery possible from most of these jumps. How long have we been on this level? Not that long, actually. Well, probably, like, ten minutes-ish. Yeah, alright, you just got here. Fair enough. Yeah, the last level was also pretty crazy, too. Uh, maybe it's slightly less crazy than this, but... Pretty damn close. This whole set of ten floors has been kind of like this. The only solace I have is that most of these jumps become rather formulaic after a certain amount of time. Like, they're reasonably easy to replicate, which is super important when you're dealing with this kind of garbage. Thanks for streaming. Today's been one of the worst days. Really helped me calm down. Oh, no problem. I'm glad to hear that I helped you calm down. I'm sorry you had such a shitty day. I'm gonna shoot some bullets, that'll help too. Abyss Odyssey is pretty damn cool. Yeah, I wanna play that, it looks neat. Alright. We're- oh my god. I was just gonna say we're back in action. Nope. Especially the art is by a pro team and you did Rock of Ages. Hey, it lit up red because you wrote Rock of Ages. Yeah, Kate, okay, when is Ryan gonna get Lion Egg? All it is is just an egg. Hey. What's going on? Can you shoot through the black platform? Uh, nope. No, those are solid. Oh, because you're trying to get me a save point. That's a good call, though. Thank you for looking out for me, but I don't think you can do that. I think it's time to cheat. I think we need to sequence break this level now. Guys, it's time to sequence break this level. Now. Guys, it's time to sequence break this level. Now. Guys, it's time to sequence break this level now. Guys. It's time. Guys. 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 Now! Sequence break. Now! I actually don't know that this is actually possible. Just do the out of bounds trick that totally exists. It's not possible? Oh, okay. It looked like it was there on purpose to make me think it's probably just to troll me, right? Because it looks like it's pretty close to being possible, but there's just something a little off about the distance. It's definitely possible to keep trying for 20 minutes. Can you jump from the middle platform? Uh, no, because I'll have to burn my second jump to make enough horizontal distance, so by the time I do that, I won't be able to make the curve at the last second at the bottom. 
You gotta have that to get airtime enough to be able to survive that fall. Rockly smell has stopped working. You scare me when I say it, or when you say something like that, and I look at my uh, network connection. It's my sequence break, and I need it now. I want Nikki's save states, because I don't have save states, or I probably would have by now. I really like to not have to do this beginning part every single time. Especially because I still have a pretty high instance of screwing it up after all of these tries. Oh, man. You guys really like Cloud Cam, huh? That was alright. I was pretty jealous that I didn't have a Cloud Cam. I had to go and buy a new webcam to get Cloud Cam. Cloud Cam compatible webcams aren't cheap either. And Skype doesn't like them either, too. Oh, I made it up to that jump. That's progress. I haven't made that jump yet. Alright, now I've got to get over to that corner. Holy shit, now I've got to go through that, and then immediately hook from left to right. That's pretty tough. I get at the angle, slide through that, and then fall down. Nope, totally didn't get the second jump because I was so close to the goddamn edge. <sighs> Why did your eyes get so wide during that jump? That's actually kind of a weird question. Um, well, it's like 4.45 in the morning, so I just was like stretching my eyelids, if you want to be perfectly... <laughs> open and transparent about the whole thing. Biological functions, man. So the thing about this game, and I've said this a lot of times, but there's probably going to be people here that haven't heard me say it yet. Uh, there's a... God, there's a thing where uh, if you fall yeah. off... Hey, I'll say that later. Uh, Chago the Swede just subscribed. Thank you very much for your subscription. Welcome to the Rock Quarry, and let's get all of the Rock Yahas, please, in chat in celebration for a new subscriber. Thank you very much. So there's this thing that basically when you fall off a ledge, it uses up one of your jumps, and the space that it considers you falling off the ledge is remarkably generous. So a lot of the time, I burn one of my jumps without even realizing it, and it makes it really inconvenient when you don't mean to fall off a ledge, when you mean to jump off a ledge. That's a really nice amount of rock yahas. You guys did well. Big props. No! I'm always tempted to freaking jump a little bit too early there. And a lot of times, I don't get a full extension on the jump either, which is kind of annoying. Oh, we got you into Dark Souls. That's awesome. Well, thank you very much. That's a lot of support, and it means a lot. I appreciate it. Yeah, we did play X-Plane. I was the co-pilot. We tried to land uh, some kind of big plane in some water, and it didn't really work out very well. That's pretty much typical. What time is it over there? I just woke up. It is 4.47 a.m. I'm doing this stream partially because I wanted to play this game, partially because I wanted to continue playing this game, and partially because I wanted to test my internet and see if it cut out. And so far, we've been good. Wow, okay, well, just don't register the second jump then. Oh, Kate's leaving. Alright, good night, Kate. Thank you for stopping by. And thank you for bringing people over here, too. Kate streams Saturday. Everybody go follow lovely Momo, please, on Twitch if you haven't done that already. Just click on her name, go to her channel, and click the little heart. And then you'll know when she goes live. She streams some pretty wild games. 
And she also has a YouTube channel, which is youtube.com slash proboxstudio, and feel free to link that in chat if you'd like. And you can go subscribe over there and watch videos of her cute kitties and Let's Plays. Nick, did you reach 1,069 deaths? Oh yeah, a long while ago. This is, uh, I'm at 1,217 now. Did you cry during the Blaze Blue Finals at Evo? I actually missed the Blaze Blue Finals, and I almost missed the Street Fighter Finals as well, but I managed to catch those at the last second. I was gonna go back and watch the Blaze Blue Finals, actually, but I didn't go and look for where they're stored. Damn. Good night. Yeah, Blaze Blue would be a thing that I could totally get into watching at Evo. I just freaking missed it. I don't know what I was even doing at that point. Probably recording something. Hi, Blaze Mage. Do I want to come to your birthday party? Um, I mean, I'd like to. I'm just not sure how practical that would be. <laughs> but I appreciate the invite. I don't know why every time Evo comes up, we always, like, and you're, I'm not saying you did this, but in general, like, in the world that I inhabit, it seems like we always have to discuss whether or not Smash Brothers is a viable fighting game. Like, don't care. I don't really watch Sm uh, Smash Brothers, I don't really play Smash Brothers, and yet we still have to have this discussion every time. You usually find all the Evo finals on YouTube. I figured they'd be on there somewhere, I just didn't know if they had an official channel or what. I haven't done a lot of EVO watching in the past. No, it's cool. They're not actually going to get into that discussion, Mag. Don't worry about it. If anybody wants to tweet me, like, the place where the Blaze Blue final stuff was on YouTube, like, I'd appreciate that. And just as somebody knows, if not, no big deal, I can look it up myself. I actually just wanted to know mostly who they played as, because I don't even know, like, in CP, who are the top-tier fighters anymore? I just maintain that probably Hakuman is the best of all of them. That's basically what I say every damn time. Prepare for so many tweets, that's fine. I can handle getting lots of tweets, I've done it before. It was tweeted by PewDiePie, remember? <laughs> Smacked my thumb into the desk when I did that jump. And oddly enough, that wasn't the cause of my death there. Oh, there was the first tweet. And it's got a YouTube link, so we're probably good. Probably good. Yuki Terumi. Oh, okay. That's really disappointing, actually, because I find that character really boring to watch. I was hoping it'd be somebody, like, really unexpected. Like, Arakune or some shit. That would be really wild to see Arakune and Evo. I'm actually pretty impressed that there's still a following for King of Fighters at this point, because I didn't really know that a lot of people still played it. I guess I could say the same for, like, Tekken or something, because, well, Tekken obviously is a bigger following than King of Fighters, but it just doesn't seem like people talk about it anymore. Like, wasn't there supposed to be... there was Street Fighter cross Tekken, and then there was supposed to be Tekken cross Street Fighter or something, right? So we only got one of the two, as far as I know. You hate Azrael. I think it's pretty damn cool. Oh, damn. Articuno is in Blaze Blue, yes. Yeah, he casts ice spells, and it's weird. Really the only bird Pokemon that I'm aware of in that fighting game. Oh, man. Her Street Fighter Cross Tekken was bad. I thought the premise was pretty damn bad. 
I mean, I'm all for these crossover games when they're done in a way that makes sense. Like, basically the only way is Marvel vs. Capcom 2. Um, even Marvel vs. Capcom 3 I didn't get into nearly as much. I also was pissed that I bought the regular version and, like, right away they released a version with, like, double the character roster. Really, really getting tired of that in the fighting game world. Only fighting game I've played since SNES is Dive Kick, huh? Yeah, well, at least you picked a good one. You haven't played, like, Soul Calibur or something like that? Oh, man. I'm actually, well, I was a very big Soul Calibur fan, but they've just been doing weird stuff to that game in the last few years. There's also that other cross game, uh, was it SNK versus Capcom? Is that the one? I think it was on original Xbox. It had like a, a really nice roster of sprite characters. Alright, where's the magic pixel here? I think it's right about there. Got it. Got it. Got it. Got it. Don't got it. But I was really hoping that would be my break. Now I can't get through this first fucking jump. I've gotta beat this level. Ugh. I've got the skills to get through this. I have what it takes. I just need to actually pull it off. far over. Tetsunoku versus Capcom. Yeah, I have that, I think. That was the Wii one, right? I don't remember which that was. There's a lot of Capcom games. So Calibur 5 messed up badly on the storyline. I think I agree with that. I actually really like Soul Calibur 3, and I was really upset that they never released it on anything but PS2. They had that, like, conquest mode or something that was kind of like a strategy game, and I really liked it, and I wish that I could have played that in a better engine. Bottom left to the right of the spike. I don't know what you're saying. Oh, do people not see that I can finish the level by going through to the bottom left, to the right of the spike? That's weird. Bloody Roar I've never played. I've played most fighting games, but that's one of the few series that I never actually played. I'm actually a kind of a fan of Dead or Alive also, I think that game's pretty good. Okay. This time. No! Not this time. Game had a bug or corrupt your data on the conquest mode, that's why it won't come out or anything else. I don't want they don't want to fix it. Yeah, I remember that. It did that to me too. I really liked that game and it was really annoying that they had to have a game breaking bug in it that made it to retail. Yeah, I know I figured it out. Right. Yeah, I mean, I could take or leave the volleyball game, but I mean, like, the actual fighting game. Okay, I'm getting here a little bit more consistently. That's probably good, right? No, it didn't make that jump. Music is driving me insane. Sorry to hear that. It's not really bothering me for some reason. Would you ever attend an Evo? 
fairly unlikely. I would probably rather go to AGDQ or something, or SGDQ. If I was to make a trip for something like that. I mean, this stuff's cool to watch, but I'm really not that invested in the fighting game community. Yeah, I have a death counter. It's uh, it's in the menu bar at the top. I'm at uh, 1303 now. And there's a timer as well, and it says I'm at 3 hours and 24 minutes. to see the chat you're totally right except then you'll want to be checking it the whole time on your phone can you give me a tip on how to beat this commander commander video warp zone in super mario brothers yeah you just got to get the coin block and if you hit it on the left side a vine will come out and uh, it's a, an eight second video that tells you how to beat the level that you're having trouble with you can only watch it on Twitter, though. Or Vine. Because it's a Vine. I only notice it when it resets. Yeah, because it kind of gets quiet for a while. And then we just have this percussive moment. It does loop kind of aggressively, doesn't it? I don't know why I'm having trouble with this jump. I mean, it's... I know exactly what I need to do to do it. Maybe I want a little bit of momentum, but there's like no room to gain momentum here. Alright, there we go. Oof. That was very close. The ascent. No, I hit the ceiling. Damn it. Hi, Jim. Is it G. Morgan? Or is it Jim Organ? Or is it Jim Morgan? We'll never know. I want to call you G. Organ. No. Jim Organ. That is a fantastic porn star name, by the way. Jim Organ. Hey, Z Milla Gaming in the chat. How's it going, man? Thanks for coming by. You, you made it out to one of my super tired streams. I know you're also pretty familiar with these of uh, doing your own. This is uh, one of those difficult games. You know, the ones where there's like spikes, saw blades, or what have you everywhere. Uh, you might also be accustomed with those as well, actually. There we go. I want to do a one, two. Poco my shoe. Three, four. Shut the dog. Oh, God damn it. It's Jim Organ. <laughs> it's just questions. <laughs> no, I'm not going to speed run this. Wow. Really thought I would have done this enough times by now. I hate that we're approaching the territory where if I upload this shit on YouTube, there's going to be like an entire 40 minutes of me being on one level. That's no fun to watch. Hey, I don't care, blah one. <laughs> Everybody's got great Twitch names lately. Ah, I didn't go far enough left.
After watching Rex and Bear play 1001 Spikes, I feel like it's not nearly as hard as I thought it was. But it's also because I've had some of the puzzles of it mist or demystified a little bit, having watched over and over as they speed run through the entire game in barely no time. So I should probably go back and finish that, provided they fixed the mic issue. It's the strangest thing, this is the only game that I'm aware of that exists that causes my mic to break when I'm playing it. And it's not just when I'm on OBS either, it's like any time that I have my mic and that game is running, it causes my mic to pop, pop and crackle and popple and crackle. Edit it for YouTube so it's a never-ending stream of blood. You know how long that would take me? You know how many times I've died? That would take me the rest of this year to edit. Maybe not the whole year, but it would take a long time. Far, far longer. This snub had a problem with his mic when he tried to stream it to you. Yeah, I've actually... I know it's a known issue, and they... I think said they were working on a fix for it. Actually fix that issue? I do have a kind of a vested interest. There's definitely a bunch of BS levels, but if I can 100% it, it can't be that hard. Yeah, it just takes a long time to figure out the patterns. There's a known issue with Blue Yeti mics. Well, I'm using a Blue Nessie, so not a Yeti, but probably uses the same drivers. So I would expect probably the same issue for that reason. You know, another Blue USB mic. Oh my god, I hit the ceiling again. I don't know where I'm supposed to hit that jump. Yeah, when I streamed that with Ryan on the show, it, it made everybody pissed at me. They're like, why is your mic so shitty? I'm like, what are you talking about? I didn't do anything. <laughs> my mic is the same as it was a second ago, but no, it was the game. Because I'd never seen that issue before, so I had no idea that I was doing anything that was not normal. And then when I listen back to the bottom, I'm like, wait a minute, they're right. My mic is shitty all of a sudden. And then I turned it off. Uh, when I turned the game off, I turned the the crackling stopped as well. So everything was fine after that. This game is kind of ridiculous, Coco Buns. I would say this is very near the description of ridiculous. In the last step you practice a couple times and just land on that in that notch on the left. No. I think that would be worse. Because then I'd have to make the jump up to another very precise location another time. I'll just get it. Get it right or pay the price, right? I'm really happy I've been able to get that jump underneath that edge, too. Nope. Wow, I actually landed there, but completely by accident. Oh, I thought that was going to be the time. This is Nick's replacement for Cookie Clicker. It's starting to feel that way. It kind of feels cool once you figure out like the jumps down to a very granular level. It's like you're speedrunning, but you were forced to learn how to speedrun because you're simply impatient at this point. Yeah, that was very close. I actually was a little surprised that I didn't get that one. I did think that I was going to make it that time. And even after I beat this, I've still got a few more levels before this music ends. Just unfortunately for anybody that's sick of listening to it.
You know, I bet it would not take me very long, considering the screen never shifts and nothing ever changes, to edit together a compilation of me, like, playing this to random points and dying arbitrarily. And I could probably take those clips and start stringing them together in weird orders, and all of a sudden, you wouldn't be able to see the pattern anymore, and I would have an indefinite reel of this. I don't know what I would do with it, but I guess I could put it on, like, in speed and confuse you for some reason. My eyes are very tired. And I didn't even stay up for 24 hours like Kyle did. No, he stayed up for way more than 24 hours. He was streaming for 24 hours. Yeah, I kind of know what you mean, Mag. kind of want to play La Mulana as well, but I just hate the way the co jumping convention works. Alright. Got it. No! It's, I think that's the first time I've died on that one. Hey, Mr. Blue Groper. Okay. Progress is certainly hard fought in this particular game. Damn. Twirly. I died there. I was actually actively pressing left at that moment. Maybe a little bit too late. Too early on the jump. doing? Come on. Holy shies. I'm just going too fast now. This game's fairly difficult. Streaming for two hours. I've made it four levels. Seriously, why can I not make this jump now? That's what happens when you fall off the ledge instead of jump. Really like to beat this level. People use the word mechanic improperly when talking about video games. It should be mechanism. Nah. I find it really pointless to get into arguments like that. Words only have meaning that we assign to them, so if everybody's been using the word wrong, eventually the word just becomes that. I know there are certain cases where you could probably make me out to be a hypocrite for saying that, but it's fine. I, that's just the way I feel about it. I 
just parried one of the pigs in Mitchell. I am so happy. Nice. Why are you fighting those pigs? You're just looking for a feeling of fulfillment when you finally parry them, because it sounds like you got it. Also, those pigs just suck. You probably should just make them into bacon. Yeah, see? If I think you want to parry them, that's fine. Mm -hmm. I didn't think I would live on that one, but oh well. chat and then I have to keep looking at the stupid game doing the beginning over and over again. Why can't I do this blindfolded yet? person asked me about the violin tonight. Uh, I don't have the violin anymore. So, not very well. I was just borrowing it from someone. And I wasn't going to borrow it for like two months. Really? Every now and then, it's like that spike just decides it's going to be in the way again, and then kind of forgets itself. Oh, okay. Even still, it was worth the time that I spent getting to play with that violin. I mean, I feel like I learned a couple of things about it, even though I can't play it, but I now know a little bit more, and that's cool. made it make some sounds, and that's good enough. Damn. Hey, Sparse Vector. Yeah, this is coming from the game, and I don't know what this song is called, but I've assigned a task force of ninjas to look into it for me. That's right, you guys get to be ninjas now. Alright, see you later, Quackshot. we go again? No! I freaking dropped the jump again. So tired of dropping the jump. The attempts are indeed starting to meld together. I think they've been melding for a while now. I can't believe I can get that fall now. Okay. Don't drop the jump. We didn't drop the jump. Somehow. Oh shit! I did it! Oh, it's over. Oh, it's finally over. Yes! High fives to you. High fives. All the high fives. Hundred hand slaps. Yeah. <clears throat> I 
Alright. Well, my character is embedded in the save point, which says wuss over top of it. It's now a quarter after five. And I got as far as I wanted to get, to be honest. I, I, that was a lot of repetition on that level, and my eyes are getting really tired, so I'm gonna wrap things up at this point. Oh, next should play, I wanna be the Bashi. I said I was considering possibly doing that. And yeah, I know 100 hand slap is for me. <laughs> so, yeah, I think we're gonna be about done for the evening. Oh, thank you for the cookie. Very happy to see that my internet didn't drop the whole night. Big thumbs up on that one. Let's go see if there's anybody we can raid. 